all right guys welcome back to the channel and today we're doing another post commentary for smash bros ultimate because my mic decided to be a piece of crap and not pick up any of my commentary for two videos that i recorded two days ago so usually what happens with it is that whenever i restart my pc and i still have my mic plugged in for some reason it just does not pick up the volume. So I have to unplug it, plug it back in just for it to pick up the volume. Like it still sees that my mic is there, but it doesn't pick up anything I'm saying into it, which is really stupid. On my laptop, it didn't even do this. Like it would be hella staticky and shit like that. Like it would sound hella bad, but it would never just not pick up anything. So yeah, that's what happened. That's why this video would have been up like yesterday if I didn't have that issue but it's whatever so in today's Smash Bros video this was going to be episode 2 of Smash Bros Ultimate Online Matches I'm playing as Alex the Serena Williams Alex and we're going up against a Richter player so I'm just going to upload the whole gameplay video raw because I don't have a dual monitor and having OBS audacity up and the video up is it's a lot, so to minimize that, I just decided I'm going to upload the whole gameplay and this commentary is going to go with it. So there's going to be no pausing. So let's just see what we did right, shall we? Also, before I continue. OK, never mind, never mind. We're good. I was going to say, like, is my game volume on? But I think it should be straight because, again, this is a separate thing. So this Richter player wasn't, I mean, he didn't seem like he didn't know what he was doing, but I was kind of getting in his ass. Pause. I kept going for the up tilt strings into up smash. Very, very easy combo. Very trivial to get pretty high percent on. As you guys can see, I have quite a bit of extra credit right now. Like, and I still got all stocks. Richter's recovery is trash. He could have forwarded it there. I don't know why he decided to throw the water. Look at his leg. Did he rage quit? I don't remember if he rage quit. I guess he did rage quit. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's weird. Who rage quits an arena match? Speaking of, I've been playing a lot of quick play and stuff off screen. I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to get my mojo back in this game. You feel me? I'm trying to get back on my shit and be a little bit more competent in this game. I've been playing a lot of quick play Elite Smash and I got quite a bit of characters into Elite Smash a few days ago when I was playing. I got a few of the videos saved, like I saved the matches. So I think I might maybe do some post commentary on those matches. I don't know. We'll have to see. Again, I do have another video I have to do a post commentary for. Because, I, again, I recorded two videos. Both of them, obviously, sadly, did not get the commentary saved. And the commentary wasn't that bad. You know, I was getting a little bit triggered, as you guys can see. Make sure, again, you stick to the end. Because that is when we fight a pretty strong opponent. Right here, I'm just waiting. So, while I'm waiting, might I also remind you to hit that like button. And make sure to subscribe. We're going to be going strong with these Smash videos. Again, i um, thinking about playing Mortal Kombat 11 because the next update we receive when the PS5 drops is about to be some heat. So I do really want to play that game. I still do need to get a controller though. So, yeah. More to come on the channel. Again, make sure to subscribe. We're heading, we're going for 100 subscribers before 2021. Yeah, 2021. Wow can't believe how fast this year is going but we are going to find our next opponent obama and he's going to be playing with this cursed ass me brawler he got a creeper a creeper body with sans head yeah that's pretty cursed so again i think this dude was just trying to have some fun he wasn't the most strong of opponents but it's whatever i guess we should probably talk about steve uh 
I don't know if this character is high tier, guys. I'm not really sure. I feel like he's probably like mid, mid tier, maybe like middle of mid tier or high, the high end of mid tier. Like those areas kind of suck with Steve and the setup. Very susceptible again to rush down. I feel like zoning too. When people like zone you, okay, yeah, you can build blocks, but then you're just wasting resources at the end of the day. And this character is also a lot of work, which is the only reason why I don't think I'll be playing this character all that much. Is that you have to focus on mining. You have to go to the crafting table. Meanwhile, your opponent is trying to kill you. It's a lot. That's the only good combo I know, guys, is up tilt, up tilt. I think you can fit a few of those up tilts into up smash. He tried to BM me with that bullshit. And mind you, I'm saying this character is a lot of work when I play Cloud and you have to charge limit damn near all the time. Yep, hit him with the combo again. I don't know how long that is that combo works for either. Also, is gold is gold better than iron? I don't remember. Let me know down in the comments if you know. Cause I'm not really sure. But yeah, this dude just throwing out moves at this rate. Also, what do you think about this stage? The only thing that I don't really like about the stage is that I don't like how dark it gets. I mean, it looks really dope and all. And it definitely fits Minecraft, but it gets a little too dark sometimes. And again, the music's not the greatest. They should have just pulled Minecraft music. Speaking of Minecraft music, maybe I'll put some Minecraft music in the background of this commentary. We'll see. We'll see. Get some nice ambient music in for this commentary. It's just a chill commentary. I fought this dude, I think, one more time, and then we fight a different person. This dude just wanted to show me his Me Brawler collection, I guess. And bro, look at this sick read. So I already knew what Me Brawler costume he was about to pull out. I thought maybe he was like concealing his power level on like some Dragon Ball Z shit, and he was waiting to select this me brawler and then he was going to go all out but nah this dude i don't know maybe he just got the game or something it's weird also he has a sonic picture but his name is obama all right but i made the read and i was like dude this dude's definitely picking an obama me and he picks the obama me so give me props for that read that was a hard read i just knew also Un, this is unformed with no hazards in Minecraft world. Not sure if this stage is going to be legal because this is extremely wide. But, and the platforms are very high. Maybe that's just the Steve thing because he can't double jump and reach the platforms. The platforms do seem a little bit high. Maybe this stage will be legal. I don't know. Because Unova is pretty wide as well, I feel like. Usually, you know, I don't know if that is legal, actually, because of the weird ass um, bottom of the stage. That was a fake ass combo. This dude teabagging, I ain't man. But yeah, this is my skin of choice. Serena Williams, Alex. You heard it here first. This is my skin. I trademarked it. Nobody else can use it. Simple as that. I also do like the regular steve skin because it's regular steve how can you not like regular steve skin this dude throwing the shot puts me brawler is kind of an annoying character like i was fighting one this weekend who was using like he just he spammed the hell out of suplex you have to worry about that stupid ass counter that's yeah, it's annoying the recovery is shit but very fast like a better little Mac, almost. But we do take it against Mr. Obama, President Obama here. And I think that was the last match I played against this dude. No offense to that guy, but I need to I needed to remove him because I'm trying to find a stronger opponent. Because I'm not trying to have well the first opponent rage quit, but he was kind of free. And then that dude was kind of free as well. So I will cut back to when we find the opponent guys all right what is this round four 
against the Lucario players. So this is where things get interesting. Lucario. You don't see a whole lot of Lucarios online, so I already knew either this dude was very bad or he was he had some skill on him. Also, I did play kind of badly. I feel like I feel like I played better with Steve than I did in the next video. So in the next video, I did continue my I don't know if it was really a set. I just played a lot of matches against this dude. So in the next video, you're going to see that. Damn, you just spam the hell out of forward smash. I got hit with aura spear so many goddamn times fighting against this guy. Honestly, I think Lucario might be better than you two, but I feel like I'm probably in the minority on that. Just thinking about him, you two so floaty and light. At least Lucario has combos. He has the aura mechanic, which is very bullshit at high percents. I feel like I should have stayed back against him when he had lower aura, because that's when Lucario's arguably at his worst. Or, no, he is at his worst. It's not arguable. I got hit with up beast so many times in this set as well. I got hit way too many times. I tried to use blocks so I could get my landing. Again, Steve has some pretty shit aerials. He backed off. I'm letting him get so much stage control. You see I'm like backing up towards the ledge. Don't think I should be doing that. He reads that so much. Like whenever he gets close, I spot dodge. And I was literally doing that basically the whole set. I feel like I should roll more. I, I used to roll a hell of a lot in Smash 4 and then I stopped. But now I have some pretty obvious habits such as, again, um, doing spot dodge when the opponent's like right next to me. And then they'll usually use a move that lingers or what else will they use? Smash attack, I think? I don't remember. My pick broke. Got the diamond on it, so we're doing pretty good right now. Went for that nice forward air. It doesn't spike because the hitbox is kind of difficult. That move goes stupid far. I try to block. I don't know. I probably still would have got hit if I landed on the block. But that's what I try to do. So I think we did. Yeah, we won the first game. But I think he almost came back a little bit. That was very stupid on my part. I can't believe I got hit by something like that. Right there, I tried to go off the plat. <laughs> he countered. I think that was the first counter he used. But I tried to go off the platform and immediately back here, but I got a jab. He's going to Superman right into my magma block, but it didn't fucking kill. I don't know what I'm doing at this rate. Kind of just freestyling. We use the anvil. <laughs> and he up smash for some reason. But we use the anvil and then forward smash through it. That's something I kind of do a lot. Kind of unknowingly, but it happens a lot where I place the anvil and then I go on the other side of it and forward smash the opponent through it because they can't walk through it, obviously. But yeah, Steve's forward smash, Alex's forward smash, extremely fast. But yeah, I think things went downhill this next game. Again, guys, you know, that's why I really like rematching opponents because it gives you time again for them to learn your habits and then just come back even stronger. While I was in quick play, everyone cares so much about their fucking dumbass GSP that I can never get a rematch like damn near half the time. He tried to thirst with a down air right there. I do that shit a lot, too. I'm fucking... um. What is the word? I don't learn. I don't know what the word for that is. But yeah, we're doing pretty good right here, but I think, I think things got worse, probably when you got this aura. Lucario does so much damage in aura. He'll do like 30, 40. Then you gotta worry about aura spear. I think I was saying, I was getting like, yeah, I mean, if you're picking up this game, you know, you like Goku, hey, pick up Lucario, you know, the closest thing we're probably going to get to Goku in the game. So, yeah, Lucario, guys, we need some more 
representation. That was very good spacing by yours truly. I walked back a little bit so I didn't get hit with the Superman because that move is actually really stupid. I learned that the hard way playing against this guy. Again, I'm kind of like a dummy because I would I always try to like properly space it so I can punish it instead of blocking it, which is probably what you're supposed to do is like the safer option. And I suffer because of that. He read my jump. Well, yeah, he, I guess he did kind of read my jump. But again, I placed a block and did not land on it. We got so many forward smashes. Jesus. Gold breaks so quickly. I know that happens in actual Minecraft, but damn. I get like two forward smashes and the shit's broken. We messed up the punish, but I spam forward smash because that move is dummy quick. Also, here's what I was talking about. Like, I had a gold pick and I had an iron sword. I've never seen that before. Or I never noticed it before. But I didn't know you could have mismatched tools. Very good. Very good down smashes by your boy. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the hard ass read. No, I'm joking. I don't know. I got way too close. I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking. I spam Magma Cube a lot. I'm trying to read jumps. TNT. I don't feel like I really utilize TNT that much. Moves a little bit difficult to use, in my opinion, compared to his other stuff. I should have went for like maybe a spike or something right there. Did I win this match? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Which is, I think I lost because of bullshit. Probably threw my controller across the room. You know how it is. Got hit with an aura spear like a dumbass. Got hit again like a dumbass. I think that really contributed to the L. If he B reversed that, I would have been fucked because I would have got hit again and probably been at 80, which is definitely kill percent. Right there, I didn't punish. Oh my god. If only I was a god. If only my reactions were that godlike, I could have won the game right there. I should have probably did something else besides up smash. <laughs> Yo, that was tough. I really got hit with my own TNT. He threw me into that bit. That was crazy. About back air, yeah. Probably should have. Yeah, that is what killed me. Like, have you guys ever, ever been hit with the Superman and it killed you? I've never seen that in my life. What a mix. That was so random. Again, if I had got like reactions, I would have blocked it. Maybe down smashed. But I'm only mortal, guys. I'm only human. So yeah, that is how we lost that match. Again, I could have definitely won it. But no, that is how I lost. That's some bullshit. I don't know about you guys, but that's some bullshit. So, you know, I was probably heated and I probably played even worse because when you're mad, you play worse. Also, don't gas yourself up when you're playing because that'll make you play worse as well. Pro tips. Try to read a roll towards me. I do that a lot. I think it's because I play against one of my friends and he literally always rolls towards me and I always punish with a forward smash. But I need to be better at reading get up attacks and people rolling away, especially get up attacks. Yeah, again, he was reading the fuck out of my rolls. We get a nice anvil though. He kept earning my spot dodges. My bad. I didn't mean rolls. Like, whenever I was close to him, most of the time I would spot dodge and then he would use that side B or whatever. Good little tech on my part right there. That didn't kill. Oh, he's at zero. Still did a fuck load of knockback. So, as you guys can see, we are in danger. Good, nice little back here. He supermans into me yet again. I mean, I guess it's good on him because he's kind of mixing what direction he goes in and stuff. But again, I think I should just block that move. That's like, again, the safer option, especially when I'm about to die. I mean, I know I want that extra credit, but yo, TNT, that did nothing. Get a nice down smash. Did I win this match? I'm doing extremely good, but I feel like, again, I probably flubbed up and lost. Because I don't think I won too many games against this guy. Again, I should have guarded. I tried to make a tool and probably block, but... 
My man's was raising the sword in the air and I get super banned. Yet again, down smash, not even gonna kill. Again, I try to read the jump like a dummy. I could have had, that was so bad. I could have hit him on the edge cause he hit it twice. I could have down smashed right there, but no, my flint still didn't reach. Probably should have grabbed right there. Mine, you gotta get that iron. That iron is pretty important so I can spam mine cards. I jump into an aura sphere. I get hit with another aura sphere. I didn't die there, thankfully. Yeah, imagine if Steve had a move like that where my like flight just kills you at a hundred and something. That's that bullshit. But yeah, as you guys can see, here is the robbery of Lucario, and I'm. I mean, this is on me. I'm just not playing that great. I, I don't. I don't why did I forward there? I should have back aired. That somehow hit me, but it didn't hit him. All right, man. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. I'm just getting hit with so many aura spheres. And then, yeah, you read that. Yeah, that would be sucks. <laughs> that would be sucks. I should probably should have. I feel like in my mind, Cardi would have up aired me. But, yeah, that was not. I try to mix, but that move is. Yeah, that recovery is just dog shit. All right. Straight up. Move's not good. But, yeah, I just played extremely bad. I had I had the lead, man. But I got robbed by Aura and Aura Spheres. That I seem to never be able to jump over, evade. I don't know if blocking him is the best idea. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if blocking it is the best idea. I'm not sure how much shield damage it does. I don't remember. I did actually think about maining Lucario. <laughs> you can see that didn't work out quick. Mostly because I think I probably try to focus on Cloud. So I just stopped using him. Don't know if I'd pick him back up. He's not. He's not the greatest. But, yeah, in both games, this and Smash 4, his aura is just still robbery. He actually did get buffed, too. Not sure what his buffs were. I don't remember. Too late. It's kind of too early to see. Because, and nobody fucking plays Lucario to see if his buffs really did anything. Obviously, there's no offline tournaments or anything like that. But I wouldn't mind Lucario being strong i guess i still do think aura is kind of bullshit i hate i just hate easy comeback mechanics that was a great tnt by me hit the like button for that tnt play and subscribe but um that was a great tnt play i mean it was basic but it worked all right what was i talking about obviously there's no offline tournaments to see if the buff really did anything for lucario that combo flubbed up because I don't know if it's because I had diamond and that increases the knockback and he was too low a percent. Probably what it was. We get a down smash. That was a very random down smash. And that was that was way, way, way too late on that anvil. I don't have enough iron, I don't think, to anvil, so I just threw a TNT block down. I probably get hit with I perfect shielded, I think that aura spear. Dash attack is gonna kill me. When he's at 75, really? If I walked back a little bit further, I would have got the forward smash. But it's only wood sword, so it wouldn't have killed. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about this matchup. I probably should have used more blocks. You know, like built a line of blocks to protect me from aura sphere. I feel like that might have been a decent idea. I don't know what this dude's doing right here. Maybe his fingers hurt, so he just put the controller down for a few seconds. Don't know what I could have should have did there. I could have down smashed right there, but I'm an idiot. Flynn Steel did absolutely nothing. Unless he like fast fall and killed himself. Other than that, I should have down smashed. It would have covered it probably would have covered I don't know why he would get up attack there, but it would have covered get up attack, probably roll. And again, he had no invincibility on the ledge, so it would have been the best play to do. I think here is where I get camped the fuck out with War Spears. Oh yeah, I was talking about the matchup. I don't know how I feel about this matchup. 
Again, I'm not the best Steve player, as you guys can see. I'm pretty, pretty trash. I didn't even hit any minecart combos in this set. Why did I waste TNT there? I have no material now. Ooh, good shit. Good shit on my part. Do I really lose this after having this much extra credit? How many times has that happened? Where I've gotten up aired right at that same ledge. I think I get robbed again. But I think that's the main reason people hate Lucario. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Comeback factors. I just hate easy ass comeback factors like Limit Break and Fighters. What else? I just hate games that give comeback factors for when you're getting your ass beat, you somehow deserve to be rewarded with a comeback factor. That's stupid to me. Also, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, Lucario doesn't do that shit in the actual Pokemon game. But whatever, man. But Joker, he gets his ass beat. He gets Arsene. Dude, that was so stupid. <laughs> Forward smash. He barely charged it. And I go flying into the blast zone. Steve is pretty light. I don't think he's game and watch light, but he's pretty light. But that is the end of the VOD. This is, I don't even know what a VOD is. Let me know down in the comments. What is a VOD? I don't know. People be saying it, though. So I just try to use it. My apologies. But yeah, that was the last match I played with Steve. I did, again, continue the sets with this guy. But I changed my character. I probably should have stayed as Steve. I think I did better as Steve than the character who I end up using in the next video. Which you guys are going to see. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. Depends when I, you know, do the commentary for it. But yeah, that's going to conclude the video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'm heading out. Have a good one, y'all.